Welcome to my third part of the series talking about soloing out of chord shapes, particularly using chord shapes to comp and then to begin to doing chord solos. We've been using the tune right or wrong in the last two videos. We're going to continue doing that and look at how we can use three note voicings in our comping and then beginning to incorporate that into just um, comping between the uh, continuously comping between the melody as well as doing it just as kind of a chord solo based idea. So if you haven't watched the other two videos, go to the description below and check that out. If you would like to follow along in the tab of the, um, in PDF form or the standard notation in PDF, they're right in the same file. You can check that out, that's $15. Um, see the description below and there's a link to getting that. And, and that will cover the first, second, third, and then our final video that will be coming next week on this. So last week we were talking about how we have the two note voicings. I'm gonna go through the two note voicings and add a third note to the voicing. And we're going to talk about how we can use that in uh, within the song. So chord by chord, if we start, we have an E7 chord. We talked about how that's the G sharp and the D. Now, in this case, we're going to add the third voicing, and we're going to do a 9. That's an F sharp. So that's going to be our new E9 grip. We have an E9 or that E down there. Okay? So that's going to be our first one. Our A7, we've got the G and C sharp, that's our seventh and third, and then we're gonna add the E on the top as our A7 three note voicing. So now we have Okay, and then we'll work up to the D. And for this, I'm just gonna play a D9, so moving that E down a whole step. Okay, and then a G6. And that's just G, B, D, but instead of the D, we add the sixth, which is the E. So we have. Now here we've got a B minor, so we have the A and D, we're just going to add the F sharp there to get the third note, and then an E7, so look at that, only one note change, A goes down to G sharp, and then we're going to do the same thing, it's a descending 2-5 down to the A minor 7 to D7, so it's... seven all right there D7 so I'm going to put uh, that to use just for the first part and then I might slip in a few of the two fives we talked about in last video so we might go B7, so we just come up to our three note voicing there, just like the A, but up a whole step. We have A, D sharp, and F sharp. All right, then back to E. And you're just gonna jam on that for the A, and then when we get to the end, and that we can just do B, E, A, D, down to G. And that, we talked about that last time of this, that descending three, six, two, five. All right, so that's just B minor, E9, A minor, D9. So that the back half of the melody, we'd have E. So that's going to be the basic idea of adding that three note in. Now, 
if I want to kind of depart from the melody and play more of the riffing and move around in little half steps to kind of get that chord solo feel, that's a really easy kind of just stepping stone to the next thing. So I'll give you an example of that. the melody Those are some ideas of just moving in and out. Now, if I was just going to comp behind someone playing a melody or a soloist, I might do something like this. A one, two, three, four. back down okay now I'm gonna do the melody again and this time I'm gonna put in the two note voicings so I'll have two note and three note and with the two fives and that'll be kind of a final idea to start jumping into that point for you so it might go So hopefully you get some ideas of now incorporating that third note into the mix and you kind of get a wider sound, all right? So what we'll do next week is incorporate the fourth note and I think you'll get the fullest sound of using those little shell voicings and we can start building from the two note to the three note to the four note in our own solos and we'll get some cool ideas like that where it sounds like you're doing a lot of work but you're just really expanding one chord shape to get more harmony. So enjoy that. See this description below for the PDFs that we of everything that we've covered and that we will cover in the final lesson and then you can see the links of the two past lessons below as well thank you